Lou Carrab was a larger than life character. Um, massive smile on his face, life of the party, always a lot of fun. Yeah, Luke was a great sportsman. He was getting ready for the Commonwealth Games trials and uh, was, was training and racing very well. And he had a bright career in triathlon, but um, unfortunately that was to cut too short. We were all running in a group, about 40 people. All we saw was this lady come flying around the corner, sort of across the road in the car, uh, hit the two guys. Um, Luke went flying up in the air and over the barrier on the other side of the road. And But when I got to him, he was, he was caught up in a tree. He was upside down. Um, I, I didn't know at the time that he was going to die, but I certainly, it didn't look good. And um, after the ambulance came and, and, and took him away, and uh, I had to then go and ring his father, and, and, and it was 6.30 in the morning. And I said to him, look, um, you know, Luke's had an accident. You need to get down here, you need to get down here now. And, um, and I don't think he's going to be OK. And uh, look, it was, a, it was a really, really tough time, and, um, you know, it's something that I'll, that I'll never forget as long as I live. You know, not getting the opportunity to say goodbye to someone is, is a terrible thing and, um, you know, to, to live with the, the pieces that are left behind and the family and the devastation is, is quite a hard thing to do. So, yeah, I think it's very important for car drivers to be acknowledging people on the road. I mean, here is a kid just trying to stay fit and healthy, um, riding down the road, uh, on the side, not, not in the middle of the road, not doing anything silly and um, unfortunately one crash in his life was taken away. You know, I don't think you ever pick up the pieces after something like that. You just, um, you just learn to live with it.